What is that going to do to the dollar? What is that going to do to the Canadian currency? And here we are, some of the richest two countries in the world, plus Mexico is extremely rich. But the average person has no idea about gold, silver, copper, lithium, you know, all the resources that are required to run an economy. So Vancouver is going to be, a, a, I mean, I wish you had more time because I couldn't get around to see all the other, all the other uh, little junior miners out there. You know, I, I'd be standing there in my little booth, you know, talking about, I was pitching my China deal and I was right. We took it public, but then the Chinese took it. So my next gold mine's in Utah. It's a little safer. <laughs> yeah. And I once said thing about the difference between miners and stock players, you know, like those Jim Rogers who lives in, I think he lives in Singapore, Singapore now. Yeah. You know, he wrote the book, Hot Commodity. And commodities are going to come on bigger than ever before. But every time I deal with stock guys, they, they think they're off in the wild blue yonder. The thing I like about commodity guys, they work with their hands. They're in the mines. You know, I've got my, I've been in deep down in the mine pits looking mm -hmm. for gold and all that. So we're not as high and mighty and think we're better than everybody else as we do in the stock market. Yeah. <clears throat> I think, you know, when gold passed 2000, I went, uh oh, that's a lot. You know, that's like when gold passed $50. It didn't stop. It didn't look backward. Mm. And then it went to 800 and then pulled back. And then it went to two. And now it's just, and that's about to take off again. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Sure. But given EVs, electronic vehicles, the pumping of, pumping of fake money into the economy, the COVID thing, Canadian truckers going on strike, provinces going on strike. And Canada, Mexico, and U.S. are extremely rich countries. And you come to the Vancouver Resource Investor Conference to meet the little guys who are digging around the world looking for some gold or silver, or oil or copper to get rich. Mm. So for those of you with a more adventurous spirit, Canada, Vancouver is one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And uh, I love your beer, your Labatt's beer. And it's, it's, it's really a great place. But I learned so much in Vancouver because I was hanging out with thousands of entrepreneurs. I think everybody in, in, in Vancouver is an entrepreneur and they're all pitching their deals. And you don't, I don't recommend doing any deal unless you check them out. But I learned more about how to pitch a deal, what, what people look for in a deal, what the, you know, what, what made a good miner, a good miner, a bad miner, mm -hmm. but you come to learn. And so that's why I'm very happy to promote your show, the VRIC, January 29th and 30, Vancouver, British Columbia. And I learned so much being about what it takes to be an entrepreneur at, in Vancouver. I call them, I call them all the Frito Banditos. You know, they're, they're Canadian, but they're more, they're all, everybody, everybody in Vancouver has got some deal they're working on. So I learned how to pitch deals, what made them good, what made them bad. And a lot of them were bad, but I had one of those, I, you know, I took it public on Toronto Stock Exchange, my first company. We struck, we struck it, but then the Chinese took it. Now that's priceless. But this year I got my revenge and I took the Trixie mine public, which we found in Utah. So anyway, it's a good time. And this, you can tell you're, you're pretty solid with the industry. This here is a silver bullet sent to me by Dana Samuelson out of uh, Austin, Texas, because I buy so much gold and silver. He sent me a silver bullet. This is two ounces. Right. I was in my thirties when I started attending those conferences just because it fascinated me because you know, the, this is silver and I call it God's metal because God put silver here, but this is gold. This is real gold and God put it here. But up to now, everybody's been doing it paper and you know, this and that and flipping stocks and flipping real estate. I wanted to talk to the real hardcore entrepreneurs. Yeah. Because gold and silver, this is gold and this is silver. This is real money. And so though, so that's why I was attracted to Vancouver. I spent years up there putzing around, learning from all these, I call them the Frito Banditos, you know, because every one of them was always pitching a deal. And I learned more about entrepreneurship in Vancouver than I did in this. Those of you, again, it's Jay Martin. He's the president and CEO of Cambridge House, Vancouver Resource Investment Concert Conference, VRIC, January 29th and 30th. He didn't ask us to do this. I did this because for those of you who are really interested in becoming entrepreneurs, this is one aspect of you being an entrepreneur. So thank you all. Listen to the Rich Dad Radio Show. Thank you, Sarah. Small ebook, big impact, the wealth tree, the only four ways that will make you financially free forever. Download it here for free.